Roman engineers have been attributed and indeed claimed many ruins as their own in which they were simply incapable of creating. Yet they seemingly hijacked a number of sites which we have continued to claim were not their works. The Patera pipes being one such example. Yet alas, although we claimed that the ruin was pre-Roman, our next subject of interest we feel unarguably supports said posit as not only was the creation claimed as having been conceived by the Romans, but these sites, often the only surviving example, thus is also often argued as the first creation in regards to said concept. Yet although these are often claimed as first attempts, Many of the ruins were of such perfected accuracy that not only are they still functional today, but could still serve modern man's purpose. The Patera Aqueduct system, which in fact includes several examples of this ingenious solution to hilly areas in regards to water transportation, places in which the topography of the land makes bridge building an impossible task, forcing the engineers to think of a solution. With the site in question being such an innovation, now known as an inverted siphon, the one we are focusing on tonight is Delic Kemmer, near Patera, undoubtedly connected to the incredible ancient relic that is the Patera pipes. An inverted siphon being a pressurized water conduit. One end sits at a higher elevation than the other, with the center of the structure being the lowest point. The Delikemmer siphon, which was apparently renovated following an earthquake in the 1st century CE, is built out of stone blocks laid across the top of an impressive several hundred foot long wall. Piping holes were then artistically carved out of blocks of stone, which were fitted into each other and ten apparently sealed to create a watertight channel. Thus, due to the system being closed off and pressurized, when water flowed into the higher end, it was forced through the system and subsequently across the valley. The inverted siphon allowed the aqueduct to cross lower elevations, forcing the flow against gravity at certain points. Yet the most compelling detail of the site, and the one we perceive as a smoking gun supporting our prior posit and confirming that this was in fact the work of a past highly advanced yet now lost civilization is the polygonal stonework which can be found within the walls of the structure, a type of blockwork construction found all over the world yet denied as being connected, just like that of the Neolithic ruins we often share here on the channel. That regardless of the similarities in ruins throughout nearly every continent are actively denied as having once been the work of the same group. Kate Clow, an explorer behind popularization of Turkey's Lycian Way hiking trail, described the blocks in a Turkish newspaper title, Hurriyet Daily News, quote, The system was designed for easy maintenance. If you examine the fallen blocks, you will find occasional ones with top holes bored into them. These were for cleaning out deposits and must have been sealed with a plug when the pipe was filled with water. There were also occasional stones where the socket cutout was extended so that a stone could be slipped out of the pipeline. Without this provision, replacing a faulty stone would have been impossible, as the blocks interlock completely. The pipe joints have traces of a lime cement used initially to seal them. However, the whole pipe is now thickly lined with a deposit of pink lime from the water inside it, and this must have quickly sealed any remaining leaks between the stones." End quote. Who built the reverse siphon and the entire aqueduct as a whole? It is a place which we find highly compelling. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, take care.